Well, hello guys. Welcome to the second episode with Gotney IF. Um, we are going to be playing our first game. We're playing here against Taftea IK, um, who are not doing all that well in the league. They're thirteenth. We're ninth. So it's a really good opportunity for us to make a, a little bit of a, a run away from that relegation zone, which we kind of want to do. Um, they are only three points behind us, which means it's all a bit close there. Umea uh, Academy are sort of cut adrift from the rest of them, but all the rest of the team, it could be any one of them that goes down. So we really need to start sort of picking up some points and sort of pushing ourselves away from uh, the difficulties of, of that position. As you found out from last episode, we've got a slight issue in that we don't have enough players in the squad or in the entire club, including youth and reserves, to actually fill out a squad even with everyone fit. Bit of a problem. Um, I haven't been able to do anything about it because I'm literally coming back a day after I recorded the last episode. So it's, um, you yeah, know, nothing has happened since. We've, we've, we, we don't have any scouts. We don't have any... Uh, we don't have any uh, medical facilities, so we really are trying to sort of build up a little bit more um, in, in the backroom staff capacity before we can do much else. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. But hopefully we will be able to do enough uh, against Taftea to get some sort of result. I don't know why I'm looking at... Let's not look at that. So I wanted to look at a couple of things before we get into that. Um, let's have a little look at at dynamics because I don't think I looked at this last time so team cohesion is average dressing room atmosphere is good and the managerial support is very average and that is because uh, nope when we look at the hierarchy no one actually supports or opposes me so they've got no real opinion of me which is fine at this stage I mean you wouldn't expect them to have so they don't they've never even heard of me so why would they have an opinion of me there's a good old social group going on there apart from the goalkeeper Ferreira who I think is our first co first choice goalkeeper so that's a bit annoying for him but I'm, I'm sure he can deal with it he's a big lad potentially the the other thing I wanted to show you is this so I just wanted to have a look at the comparison comparing our team to the rest of the uh, the teams in the in the league and you can see in terms of all positions we're below average but we're not terrible um so look at goalkeepers goalkeepers are pretty good defenders are pretty good midfielders are below average but we're going to play well we'll talk about tactics in a second attacking wise and this all comes from one player i think we are we're fairly good decent physicals decent uh, mentals and technicals we're not too bad so we're not terrible we're not off the pace and I'm quite pleased about that the facts the facts of the league um, what can we say our average age is about right we're a bit tall uh, our shortest player is a lot taller than the shortest player in the league our tallest player is not far off the tallest player uh, average height is pretty average though um, I mean it's all kind of yeah, we're all we're kind of where we should be. I think the the problem we have is the number of players in that we have. So we have played the fewest players in the league because that's all we've got. So we're trying to do something about that, but it ain't easy. It ain't easy at all. Let's have a look at the tactics. So originally, I had a look at what they were playing, and previously to get those two wins that they got in the last couple of games they played a 4-4-2 so that is kind of what I wanted to play so we are training the 4-4-2 and we're having that as our second tactic that is fine the problem we have with the 4-4-2 is that we currently have Ragipovic who's a fairly good player who's been playing out on the right side he's injured for a little bit uh, eight days between eight days and three weeks which seems a, a vastly random spread of figures but you know we'll that's probably because we don't have a medical team it's just me sort of saying looking at his leg saying oh you look a bit injured there son um eight eight days or um two thousand years somewhere between that so uh what we what we're going to go with our primary tactic initially is this which is something not far away from what we've played before um so we're playing a 
a uh, four at the back. We're not having these guys bombing on, but we're playing two in midfield with a defensive midfielder just behind, and then we've got two wingers and a striker. And this basically plays to what we have available, and that's, I think, the best way to do this. Um, and we might change it when we get Ragipovic back. Sorry, the dog's just come in. And he's, uh, he's biting stuff. Right, so we, let's go on to the game. So we are playing our first, well, playing our second game against Taftel. We beat them in the in the home game. We beat them in the home game, and now we are playing them in the way. We are on decent form. All's going well. But what I'm not sure, what I didn't say is that we are going to be playing a route one tactic. So I think that's fairly important because certainly with players we have a very aggressive, strong side, and I think that's probably the best way to get the. Uh, the most out of it. We've we've also got our best player is is probably Adam, yeah, is Adam Johnson up top, who is a very very good player, and uh, hopefully he can be the man to uh, score a few goals. He scored a hat trick, uh, I think, in the couple of games ago, so let's hope he can get a, a decent performance today. Although it's Taftea who are odds on to win, so we're going to go with this as our team, as you can see. Sorry, dog is not making it easy. Not making it easy at all. We'll go. We'll go with this as he eats my hand. Right. We're going to go with this team. We we've got like three, four players on the bench, including a goalkeeper. We we're going to try and fill that out a bit, but um, I don't know what you can do really. Um, I mean, we could put some grayed out players on the bench, but I feel bad about that. But we got literally there is nobody else at the club. I mean. Surely we could just pluck some random person off the street. That that might be a better thing to do. Right then, so this is what we're com coming against us. It's a 4-4-2 with two sort of slightly more defensive midfielders. You can see they've kind of not done too badly with what the... Oh no, that's not our ground. But that's kind of what our ground you'd... Ex well, apart from we don't have that many stands as we saw. But let's see what let's see what happens. We're going to hand over to the assistant. Do we do? Well, yeah, we do have an assistant. It's one of the few things we've got. I don't know why I did that straight away without without looking. A um, lot more to come from you. A lot more to come. I'm sorry, I'm doing this left-handed because my dog's eating my right hand. So it's, you know, it's, <laughs> it makes it more complicated and takes me longer to achieve anything. So I'm hoping we might be able to do something good here. This is our first game in the journeyman really really excited about this let's uh, let's start off with a show some passion shout so they know what I'm all about right they're all a bit slow at the minute we're just going to pick up the uh, pick that up a little bit right there we go right First chance to us by look at uh, Vestman, who wears all the vests. Mills, ball in. Uh, it goes all the way outside to Larson. It has to be a Larson playing, doesn't it? Larson plays it in. It's Johnson, and that is literally the worst finish from Vestman I think I've ever seen. Got his foot caught in his vest, I reckon. Let's say demand more, but a good start from us. I think he got a little bit too excited there. I think a draw wouldn't be a terrible result that I think we can all agree on so nice clearance out but they've got the ball back can we make a challenge here we've got the ball back Vestman can he make up for his mistake he plays it over the top that's much better it's Johnson who has got a finish on him and he's put it straight in the back of the net well done Adam Johnson very very good so 2-1 up oh, one nil up very good we moved up to 7th, good god. Right then, starting again, show some passion. Namu, Barras, I don't know who that is. All over the top, didn't quite make it. We've got the ball back again. Namu Bereza, I'm just going to call him Bereza Eriksson. That's easier to say. Harmon, over the top again, it's, well, not as good. Ornklu, that's interesting. Ornklu, that's a terrible clearance, but... Ball over the top. Is this going to be 
What's happening here? Oh, it was a mistake, and who was that? Someone got all the way through there. Johnson should have scored, really. A couple of really good chances. We're putting them, putting them to the sword here early on. Ball in. Barezo. That's ter terrible. One Yama. No, what was that? With the uh, giant legs. <laughs> Dear me. Ericsson makes the challenge. Nicely done. Nami. Bereza. I don't know what to call him. Harrison over the top. Johnson. From the standard of defending. I mean, this is like being back in Gibraltar. It's brilliant. But we certainly are doing well. But you can sense a mistake at any moment. Ericsson here. He's got the ball down the right side. Plays it inside to Namu Bereza. Vestman. Ball's going over the top soon. You can sense it. There it is. The vest over the top. Oh, a nice save. So from Unklu. Apologies for the squeaking now. He's, he's now moved on to other things. Not not the uh, the professional sound effects I want, but, you know, that's what we've got. Fryman into Wanyama. Namu Bereza. Into, into Harmon. Larson. Come on, guys. Harmon to Ericsson. Ball down the right side to Larson. I'm still learning the players. It's a good start though. Good start. What should we do? I can't can't do anything. Is it going to be their first chance? I'd be a bit gutted if they score from their first opportunity, but it's straight back to us. One of the things I hadn't noticed is that it seems that the team that we've got here are playing in Hound Dog's kit. And anyone who doesn't know why that's important, oh, another chance, another miss. And yeah, for those who don't know why that's important, is that we managed Hound Dogs for uh, about nine seasons in Gibraltar, who pretty much wore this exact same kit. So that's that's pretty cool. So Mills, who looks the slowest man in the world, but um, you know, well, make up. That's a lovely ball. <laughs> Luckily, they weren't bothering to to close him down, which is fine. Ericsson over the top. They can't deal with this. Johnson, another chance from him. No, oh, good God. I mean, he's had a lot of chances. No wonder he scores the goals and gets that many chances. Ryan, demand more from them. Certainly up top. We're creating the chances. Balls over the top are just superb. But Johnson's not done anything. It's Millis, not Mills. Well, right, they've got a chance here to, to break Stenmark. Can we get a different camera angle, maybe? Ball outside to Ishmael. Call me Ishmael. Is he going to shoot? He sort of does. And that's all a bit, a bit rubbish. Johnson is... Is that... What's going on here? Is that a card? Isn't that a card? I mean, we're on cautious at the minute. And we are creating a lot of chances. That That's something we could change. But at the moment, whilst it's working, I'm not going to bother changing it. Ball over the top. Is Johnson going to get there? It, you not with speed like that. I thought he was quite quick. <laughs> Come on. Oh, God. Come on. Well, we've got the ball back. Ball over the top. It's Millis. Another chance. Johnson, how many opportunities do you need, my friend? How many chances? You've got a goal, but you should have had about 45 extra. And it's in. It's in. So they've shown us how to finish. Right, so we're gonna we're gonna push it up a little bit. We're gonna go positive. Ball just round the corner. I mean, it's it was a nice a nice finish. They're nervous. A lot more to come from. I think that must be a way to stop those nerves. Overwhelmed by the feedback, it really hasn't worked. That last bit of feedback has it. Come on. We, we were creating the chances. We just didn't put them in the back of the net. Johnson, is he going to get a chance? He's going, he's going to get about another 10 chances, you imagine. So they're focused. This is good. I can't remember what I clicked on there, but it worked. If anyone can tell me what I clicked, then uh, that, that will be useful. I mean, I could... Oh, I've got Larson's injured. What's the injury? Potential foot injury. But no one to bring on, so yeah, don't know what to do. I mean, there's a load of subs we can make. I think it's about ten subs that we we can make. I can't remember what quite what the what the rule is. 
Right, well, they're going to have a chance. We're confirming the changes here. I haven't, done, I haven't made any, but we're confirming them anyway. And what should we do? There's nothing, no one we can bring on to play there. Uh, can anyone play there? Larson. I think what we could do is bring someone back there. I mean, he can play in midfield. That's that's about it. So we'll just... I don't know. A defensive winger is probably all he's got for us. Just to, so we don't get any more injuries. But we really need really need players. You have to think that the reason we are where we are is because we just don't have the squad. But nicely done there, Johnson. Oh, it's straight into the them again. Three clear cut chances. We should be up. But we're not. Right, and ball over the top. It's Johnson again. He's just eating them. Oh, he's gone wide now this time. I mean, what on earth? What is what is up with him? Let's have a look at his uh, composure of 10. Dribbling of 15, finishing of 10. He should be all right, but... You know, he's got his one-on-one -on -one disease very quickly. Right then, so, I mean, I, I think it would be utterly gutting if we... Oh my lord, it's 2-1 down. It's 2-1 down. Well. We're going attacking. Um, when we, We've got no one to bring on. Um, I suppose what we could do is bring him on as a target man maybe a target man I don't even know how big he is is he a big lad um, no <laughs> no he's not really what's our defender here like is he a big lad he's a bigger lad He's, he's determined. That's 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 good. Well, yeah, we'll bring him on as a target man now. I know we're taking off a sub for a sub, but I mean it's pretty terrible. <laughs> Whew! Just wide. Just wide. Well, that's that was an interesting game of football. I think you'll agree. We scored a goal, which was good. Um, but we had so many chances to score a second goal, and Johnson missed them all. So I don't know what to make of that. And then they scored a couple with the two decent chances they had. So, yeah, that's quite disappointing. We've played well and come away with a loss. That's not good. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's digest the bones out of that bloody carcass. Dis disappointed, I'm disappointed with bloody striking. That is awful. Right, how, how do you make a goal scorer score goals? And we're playing second in the league. That was one we should be winning. We need players, really, don't we? Let me know in the comments what you think. What, what should I do to kind of turn things around? Um, I don't think we played badly. I think we created lots of chances. But if, if the player can't put the ball in the back of the net, that creates uh, a bunch of problems for us. It does. It does. Well, um, we will come back. Of course, we will come back. So we just, as always, it's just one game per episode. We're going to come back probably for one of these. Maybe we'll... we'll, we'll might come back for this one. This is probably going to be quite important against Umea Academy, um, who are bottom of the league. And we have, might have a better idea of where we are then. And hopefully I'll bring some players in by then. Okay, guys. Well, uh, I hopefully will see you back again. Thanks very much for all the uh, support on the episodes so, thus far. There's a lot of people liking the videos, a lot of people interacting with the videos, which is great. I think, I think this is a positive start, albeit we lost. Um, and I think hopefully we will start picking up some victories but let me know in the comments what you think 
Okay guys, well, please like the video, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time for some more fun in Gotney. Hopefully we won't be out of a job in three or four episodes. Okay, see you in a second. Not to see you in a second. See you. See you next time. Bye.